you know your girl is back again with another bomb makeup tutorial just for you so guys today's tutorial i will be showing you like my go-to quick everyday makeup look or even when i'm on a rush this is the type of makeup i would do to leave the house and all of these things now this makeup can be worn like on a regular day even on your job whatever this makeup is very easy and it's also beginner friendly by the way quick and easy yeah and so if it's your first time here welcome and my name is Natisha Sunshine and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please take a pause and go down there and click that subscribe button down below and also to turn on your post notification so you won't miss any of my future uploads yeah stay tuned guys and please look out for this video that will be coming real soon where I will be doing a specific beginner makeup tutorial. So if you do not know how to do your makeup and you would like to know or learn from your girl how to do your own makeup, you don't know this is a channel for you where it will be step by step. It will be like a two, a three part video where I will show you step by step like the things that you would need to achieve your makeup, your, your basic look and all of these type of things from the start to finish yeah so you want to make sure that you follow me over there on instagram as well at tashana makeup artist and you want to also follow me over there at facebook at natisha gray yeah that's the one and so if you would like to see how i achieve this look just keep on watching what we're going to do i'm going to go in and i'm going to moisturize my hair and i'm using the cocoa butter lotion which is the best to moisturize the face guys it's very natural so guys uh, this is a very important step before you get right into your foundation so right now guys we're gonna go right in with the face primer i don't know if y'all guys can see this but yeah i'm gonna go in with that and you want to tap a little on here so guys you can find this product into your local beauty store and this product is very hydrating it is very much affordable yeah you need this in your kit yeah guys and like i said today i'm gonna be doing my go-to makeup look like this is literally my signature look so yeah so if you notice when it comes down to applying moisturizer and all of that on to my skin it is uh, like my hands them in me like for you guys so right now i'm going to go in with the maybelline fit me foundation is is a do it foundation i'm not quite sure if you guys can see it yeah and it's in the shade 330 i am going to also mix this foundation here with this and it is in the shade 340 Yonde. and that is matte more or less normal to oily skin foundation and it's also maybe as so guys when you're going for everyday makeup look you want to make sure that you go in with less foundation because we want to look just, we want to look normal glowy and all of them vibrant healthy skin looking so i'm going to just tap a so guys you want to use your finger or your brush or sponge to dispatch this product onto the face and if you're a beginner you need this product into your makeup kit yeah because even using this product a little goes a long way so you don't need a lot and as you can see I'm using my mirror for guidance and you're gonna need a blending brush or a beauty blender or whatever of your choice to help blend out this product but as you can look at this full coverage guys i'm telling you this foundation is off the chain because it's giving me what i'm needing it's covering up those blemishes and i didn't even apply any color corrector just look at what i'm talking about y'all guys yeah you need this product into your makeup kit and you want to blend and blend because that is the key you want to blend all the way down to your neck area yeah you want to take your time and you want to make sure that you get into those ear lines and you want to blend blend for a much smooth finish to make sure that when you blend in you blend all the way down the words to your neck area like girls girls we are walking on the street looking like we're wearing any form of mascara so you want to blend like so 
So now guys, we're going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and that is in the shade Pure Beige and this is what we're going to be able to see but yeah, we're going to apply just a little bit of this under the eyes. So yeah guys, like I was saying, I'm applying this concealer on my under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my chin and forehead. Now guys, this product is for highlighting. Yeah. Those areas that you would like to bring out the most those are the areas you gonna apply the the concealer and then you want to go in with your blending brush now you can use a foundation flat brush or you can use a concealer specific brush or sponge but yeah and so remind you guys we're going for a natural go-to everyday makeup look and when you're going on your day with in a rush right and you don't have a lot of time this is definitely the technique you can use because it's going to really give you that natural and all that glowy look yep so as you can see i'm using the blend beauty blender to blend out this product and look guys just watch just look at the full coverage just look at what it's giving me yeah and then i'm gonna go in using the back of the sponge to smooth out the entire face so guys i'm gonna go right in my favorite contour palette and that is the brh true complexion cream contour palette in medium to dark shade here so right now we're gonna go in and i'm gonna be using just this little here just a little you want to dab it in and then i'm gonna use my mirror for guidance i'm just gonna lightly so right now guys i'm applying contour within the cheekbone area sweeping it up across my forehead to give it that balanced and smooth natural look yeah then i'm going back in with my um sponge just to ensure that the edges are all smooth and set then guys i'm going to go right into setting those concealer beneath the eyes yeah and you want to press that product in and that will give you a much smooth finish and uh, yeah and so guys you want to make sure that you set all those cream um products that you have applied on the finish so to set the contour guys i'm gonna go in with the LA colors i love makeup contour palette and so from the palette guys i'm gonna go in now guys from the palette and we're gonna go in with this here we're gonna apply it like so top of the excess then we're gonna kind of swirl it into motion Okay, we're gonna bronze a little and we're gonna apply this like circular motion pushing it back over into the ear line to give it a much more natural look. And so right now guys is uh, the nose contour time yeah and guys for contouring the nose you want to go in with a smaller brush that can fit within that area not a big brush but a small eyeshadow brush so guys after we've um contour the nose we're gonna go in with the beauty blender to smooth out everything and guys once we apply all the cream we want to go in with the powder to set it into place and as you can see i'm going in with my little brush blush and i'm applying it on the cheek yeah guys and i'm not quite sure where i got this blush from but yeah i think i bought it somewhere over on aliexpress or whatever but yeah i'm applying that on the apple of my cheek sweeping it upwards for a much more natural and a little you know that little glory look so after that i'm going right into my brows And so guys, as you can see, I'm going right into lining the brows. And you're going to need um, a brow pencil that is kind of like the same shade as your 
here yeah you want to go in with that and before you go in with that you want to use your spoolie to brush out the brows yeah and then you go in and line the brows and so you want to go in after that and lightly blend towards the front of the brow for a natural finish and that is the key yeah you want to go in back and forth with your pencil and your spoolie to give it a much more natural and a blended finish and then i want to just go back in with the spoolie and just kind of brush it up And so guys, I'm going in with my same shade foundation and I'm applying that just within the cheekbone area. Now you can go in with your concealer and I showed you that a little earlier with the LA Girl Pro or whichever concealer of your choice guys, you can go in on a flat brush and apply it beneath your, your um, brows. Yeah guys, so I'm going to be coming up with a tutorial with a beginner's tutorial real soon so if you are a beginner and you would like to learn how to apply your makeup from scratch all the tools that you're gonna need and all those stuff guys please look out for that tutorial to come because it's gonna be a step-by-step -step. it's gonna be an easy going type makeup look that you guys will be able to do okay so guys remind you that this makeup is not a full face glam it is a everyday my sig one of my signature makeup look yeah and as you can see i'm going right into lining the inner lash line area using a black eye eye pencil yeah and you want to smudge that in guys remind you to take breaks if you are struggling usually i would use my both of my hands for this process but as you can see i'm using my mirror so i'm just taking my little time to line it but you can take breaks in between guys and then go back in So once I'm done with that guys, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro. Now you want to apply just a little bit guys, not a lot. And so yeah guys, like I was saying, a little of this product goes a long way. Especially if you allow it to sit on the face or a little wherever you apply it for a little while, it will give you a much full coverage. So once you apply it on the lid, you want to go in with your beauty blender to help blend this product out. We're going to use the same here and we're going to set the concealer in place like so. So yeah guys, you want to set it into place because the concealer is very much liquid and you have to set it less it will move. So after that, I'm going right back in with that brush and I'm applying a little of that same bronzer within my eye crease to give it that, you know, that transition look. Now we want to make sure that the makeup is natural as possible. So that is the key. My go-to signature, one of my go-to signature everyday makeup look and some sharing it with y'all guys yeah very quick so after that i'm going in with the shimmer from the same contour palette so guys using the finger i'm applying that shimmer in the inner tear duct then i'm going to go in with my um eyeshadow blending brush to blend this product out for a much smooth finish because like i said we're going for a natural look so the face has to look like we don't really apply um, a lot of makeup or whatever on to it so it's natural so now guys i'm going right in to highlight the highest point of my cheek which enhances my complexion and give my skin that brighter glowy glow look that i'm looking for and you want to apply it just on the cheek bones like yeah for it to look a bit more prominent so now i'm going right into my mascara and i will list it in the description box below then i'm gonna pop on a little of that lip liner and guys it's not really a lip liner it's a brow pencil and i rather use my brow pencil so y'all can not come for me but yeah and then I'm going to go in with my lip 
um liquid lipstick and i will also list it in the description box but guys this liquid lipstick has like two parts to it it has the glossy part and it has the liquid part so now i am going in with that nude yeah because that's the lips that i'm going for today and then once i apply that in the center of my lip i'm gonna go on top of it with that glossy section now you're gonna see all of that yeah i really do love this lip applicator because it is the bomb and it gives it gives guys <laughs> Yeah, guys, this is the end result of my go to everyday natural makeup look. Yeah, when I'm like on a rush, this is the type of makeup that I would do to go on the road. Nothing too big, just simple and easy. So, if you guys did enjoy this makeup look, please don't forget to comment down below, right down there, so I let me know what you guys think about this makeup look. So, until then, guys, let's just be a nice, a joyful nice unto the Lord all in land and oats and thank you guys for watching and may you have a blessed day bye